welcome back. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord. Everyone is in good health and happiness, uh, regardless of our situation or world. As I always say, Jesus said in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great, my friends? Isn't that mighty? That God gave us an assurance uh, that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Uh, he will be with us in every situation in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, he promised to be with us to the end, my friends. He says, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come at thy dwelling. Let's give a hand to me. Welcome to me. Praise the Lord. Those of you who are listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, on the street with your phone in church or right here god bless you richly there is a tremendous blessing awaits you this night i release a blessing upon your life uh, uh, physically spiritually socially materially financially educationally every in your life uh, i pray that god will bless you and prosper you and uh, pray i release a blessing i pray that god will bless your homes god will bless your family God will bless your marriage. God will bless your children. God will bless your finances. God will bless you on the job. In Jesus' name, I build a hedge around your life. I cover you under the precious blood of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness, every spirit of witchcraft, opia, the demonic forces, evil, a work of darkness I destroy under the precious blood, every generation of curses, whether the first, second, or third, fourth generation I break in the name of Jesus I break every generation of curses against your life against your family, every blacks I destroy under the precious blood, I release prosperity, I receive, release health, I release strength, I release blessings upon your life tonight uh, and I pray for God divine covering over your life uh, in Jesus precious name let's give a lot of big hands tonight uh, my friend uh, also Jesus says uh, he is a healer of our soul uh, and he's a healer of our body yes he was wounded for our transgressions uh, he was bruised for our iniquities uh, the chastisement of our peace uh, was upon him uh, and with his stripes uh, we are healed I am healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus name let's give him a hand tonight uh, hallelujah this is not awesome this is not great uh, my friends and beloved that Jesus Christ is the healer he is still in the healing business Father God tonight I pray you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit anoint my lips anoint my tongue anoint my voice anoint my body anoint my soul anoint my mental faculties as I minister your words your words will go forth under the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed many will be saved many will be blessed many will be delivered many will be set free from every work of darkness our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, 
and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Oh, men, my friends, there are many times, many times you simply need to read. You simply need to read the word of God. You need to, you need to read and immerse yourself, my friends, in the word of God. Hallelujah. And I'm talking about the times and the times when a sermon would do a word of encouragement, would do it. But my friends, Simply, you need to hear from God Himself through His Word, through His Word, and and so tonight, tonight I pray that as I read these scriptures tonight, God, what Spirit will begin to move in your heart, yes, in your mind, in your soul, and store up your feet tonight. I pray that these scriptures will find you wherever you may be in whatever situation you're in. And there will remind you, remind you that the Lord, the Lord still cares for you. The Lord still loves you. My friends and his promises still stand tonight true, true at all times. Second Corinthians chapter 1 and verses 3 to 4 tells us what does it say? Praise ye the Lord Father and of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of, the, of compassion and the God of all comforter who comforts us who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those those in any trouble yes with the comfort with the comfort we ourselves receive from God Almighty I want you to take away a few things from this passage tonight yes my friends God is a God God is a God who has shows shows compassion he has shown compassion. He is a God who has given us the wonderful Holy Spirit. Yes, and comfort us in all our trials, in all our trials and troubles. So what you face may be painful. Yes, it may be unpleasant. Yes, my friends, but one thing remains true according to the word of God. And that is a factor tonight that we serve. We serve and we serve of a compassionate and loving God, one who comforts us in all our troubles. Yes, my friends, far further scriptures is worth meditating. My friends are on Romans 15 verse 13 tonight. What it says, now may the God of hope, may the God of hope fill, all, fill us with all joy and peace. Yes, and believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit tonight. Yes, Psalms 23 and verses 4 tells us what it says tonight, my friends. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil for you are with me and your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Yes, I like how the psalmist as here says, says even though, even though, even though I, I just pray that I walk through the darkest valley a valley he might as well have said it doesn't matter where I walk even though even though I looks bad I will fear no evil because you are with me you are with me even though it seems like there is no hope I will fear no evil because you are with me even though even though it appears to be over my friends I will fear no evil because you are with me. How let's give him a hand. Yes, we to the people who have this kind of faith tonight. People who have even, even though, even though kind of the kind of faith, because when all is said and done, Jesus Christ is with us, my friends. He is with us. And if God be with us, who oh, my friends? Who can be against us? Yes, who can be against us for the Lord tonight? My friends, Romans chapter 8 and verse 20, it says, what does it say? And we know, and we know that all things work together for good 
to those who love God. Yes, to those who are called according to his purposes. My friends and beloved, you see all of these scriptures, all of these scriptures, there are many more in the Bible, but all of these scriptures tell you in different ways that God, that God cares for you. God cares for you. God cares about you. You, 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 God is looking at you right now. God is working things out in your favor tonight. God will order your steps, my friends. Yes, and I pray, and I pray that the Lord will open the ears of someone who needs to hear this, someone who perhaps has a heavy heart or a broken heart tonight. Yes, so to that person, I want to say tonight, look to Jesus, look to Jesus, have faith, have faith in Jesus, hold on to Jesus Christ, hold on to the Lord, he will surely see you true, my friends and beloved and loved ones in the Lord, let, now let us pray, Lord God Almighty, this world can be a dark place indeed, but we look to you. Lord Jesus to be to be the bright lamp that guides our feet tonight I pray oh Lord that every past hurt every past hurt every past mistake or past losses that weighs heavy on the heart of whomsoever is listening may be removed removed by your everlasting power tonight Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 8 tells us do do not be anxious about anything yes but in every situation in every situation by prayer and petition by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to God Almighty and the peace of God which transcends which transcends all understanding will guard all your hearts will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus and finally brothers and sisters whatever is true whatever is true tonight whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely tonight whatever is admirable if if anything is excellent tonight or praiseworthy think about such things tonight hallelujah praise God our hope for tomorrow my friends is anchored in you Lord because you never feel you never feel our faith is in you Lord because you are faithful even when we are faithless oh, tonight oh father we choose to come to you yes we choose to set our minds set our minds on your word we make the choice to trust you no matter the pain tonight or the circumstances we even choose to pray tonight despite all that we face oh God and tonight I am in line with your word we choose not to be anxious not to be anxious not to worry we choose to believe that you always will be with us and in control oh father our healings our healing is anchored in you because by your stripes by your stripes we are healed tonight. Yes, oh Father, I pray for everyone listening right now and declare that broken hearts are mended tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Troubled minds are given peace tonight. Yes, give peace tonight. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I ask you, Holy Spirit, yes, that we can feel your presence. We can feel your presence in our hearts and in our homes. We cast all our burdens on you Lord we lean on you where else can we turn to but to you the father you have delivered and healed in the past and you will do it again oh father in every season of our lives may you lead us God may you lead us God thank you that you remember us throughout your word we do not face the storms alone but you are all 
worries with us, oh Father, whispering calm, whispering calm, speaking peace, oh Lord, bringing rest to our souls. Hallelujah. And God, we believe you just as your word says in the book of Second Corinthians. May we be, be afflicted in every way, but we are not crushed. We are not crushed. We may be perplexed, but we are not driven to despair. We may be persecuted, but we are not forsaken. Stop down. Stop down, but not destroyed. I, I thank you for caring for us tonight. Oh Father, I thank you that the peace of your loving, strong presence guards and protects the heart and minds of each person listening tonight. Oh Father, Father, I thank you for listening to this prayer tonight. Only the peace that comes from you will calm our hearts and sustain us through the troubles of life. Oh, Father, I pray that you will help us, help us to not let our hearts be troubled because that is not your will for us. Be Father, be blessed now, be blessed now and forevermore, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you glory. Yes, hallelujah. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comfort us in all trouble, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God Almighty tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is still fighting for you. My friends and beloved, God is still fighting for you. He is fighting for you and he will never leave you nor forsake you in unto the end of this world. At times I'm troubled by the evil. See in this, you see in this world, this world and this generation can be hostile towards God. My friends in the world, many, many can often, many can often do fully reject reject the principles and the commands of Jesus Christ my friends and as children of God living in a godless world my friends I believe that we need them to have the following prayer points. Yes, we need to pray. We need to pray for our, for God's protection against all manner of evil tonight. We need to pray for wisdom and truth so that we are deceived tonight. Hallelujah. We need to pray for the spirit of discernment tonight. We need to pray tonight and plead, plead the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ to out anything that seeks to corrupt or disturb or distort or hinder, hinder our spirit tonight, our home, our family, the God tonight, only through prayer, through prayer, the, the word of God, and through the covering, the covering of the Holy Spirit tonight, can we deliver from, deliver from the evil in this world, oh Father, hallelujah, praise God, as I was growing up, my father always used to say to me let's let, 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 let's let my job my job is to protect you he will say that my time my time again he will say time and time again it's only when I have my own family that I truly understood understood that what he meant my friends and beloved as a father as a father I will defend my family Come what may, I will defend my family. And if I feel this way, if I am a man and I feel so strongly about defending the ones I love tonight, imagine God. Imagine God, my friends and beloved and family and loved ones. How much more the Lord loves us and in Him loving us so much. Imagine just how strongly He will protect us. Yes, He will protect us. God protection meant. 
that, 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 that the, the three Hebrew boys will be born even though they were in a burning fiery furnace. God's protection means that Elijah and his servants were surrounded by a heavenly army of angels. God protection meant that Goliath, Goliath a skilled giant, warrior was no match, no match for a boy with a few stones. My friends, saints tonight and beloved in the Lord, God's protection meant that, that Gideon and his army of 300 men were greatly outnumbered, but they had God favor. They had God favor. They had God protection. What am I trying to put across to you is that tonight uh, the ultimate protector you have, my friends, uh, is Jesus Christ. Give my hand tonight. Uh, the ultimate protector, my friends, you have is Jesus Christ tonight. Uh, he promised uh, we can do all. We can do all and so physically protects ourselves. Uh, but ultimately, my friends, uh, only God, uh, only God can save us only God can defend us we we my friends can do all we can to protect our health our ultimate or but ultimately it's in God's hands now I would like to read to you one of the greatest passage of scripture regarding your protection my friends of the children of God, as I read this, my friends, I want you to receive it. As a, as a child, I receive a promise. I receive a promise from my father. The Bible reads in Psalms 121, what it says. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? From my help comes. My help comes from the Lord. My friends, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip, my friends. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel, my friends, will neither slumber nor sleep. He will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your, is your shield. At your right hand, the sun will not harm you. Yes, by day, nor the moon, by night. Yes, my friends, the Lord will keep you from all harm. Yes, he will watch over your life. Yes, my friends friends the Lord will watch over you your coming ins and going out both and, 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 and my friends and forevermore you ever since the fall of man evil has been absolutely present my friends visible in the world visible in the world and in the lives of men anger anger greed loss envy all in the world these are the things that secretly dwells dwells in every human heart my friends and beloved these are some of the things that the root cause is the root cause of all the suffering we see in this world today yes and as you see it's true it's true evil, true evil, Satan tries to shake our faith, he tries to shake our faith, he tries to destabilize, discourage and distract you my friends. But the good news tonight is that we are children of God, we are children of God, our Father has promised to protect us and guard us against all evil tonight. Hallelujah, my friends, the Bible says in Psalms 121 verses 7 and 8 what does it say is the Lord will keep you from all evil hallelujah he will keep you your life the Lord will keep you going out and your coming ins from the time from this time forth and forevermore hallelujah give him a big hand second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 tells us that the Lord is Faithful, he is faithful, he will establish you and guard you against the evil one. Hallelujah. Psalms 23, verses 4, even, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Yes, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. It is, it is easy to sometimes be discouraged. 
by the darkness we see all around us. We may even undergo spiritual attacks of our own. But my friends, we can rest in the knowledge, in the knowledge that God will be with us through every battle. Through every battle, He will be with us. He will not abandon us to be defeated. He will not remove His faithful love from us, my friends. Leave us to fend for ourselves, my friends. Satan, Satan is always looking for opportunities, for opportunities to lead people away from God and set them to go on a path to destruction. His tactics can be fierce. Temptation can be compelling, my friends. At times, we may be in a position where we have more questions than answers when it comes to God. But I want to remind you, I want to remind you that we have a Savior in Jesus. Yes, yes, we may be attacked by fear or that at some point, but we have a Savior in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We have a Savior, First John chapter 4, verse 4 little children little children you are from God and have overcome them hallelujah for he who is in you is greater is greater than he who is in the world hallelujah my friends the way we beat the devil is not by being strong smarter or faster than him my friends the way we beat the devil is by calling upon the name of he cannot stand the name he cannot stand the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yes, the name of Jesus Christ. The way we beat the devil is by abiding in the shadows of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Jesus is, Jesus is the light that drives out the darkness, my friends. At the name of Jesus, Satan has to flee. Give him a hand tonight. Demons have to tremble. Yes, and nature has to be bowed down, my friends. Hallelujah. Christ alone has ultimate authority over all creation. Yes, my friends, and he has promised, he has promised to be with us in every struggle, every struggle. Sometimes we can't avoid passing through the waters of life. Sometimes we may be surrounded by evil on all sides. My friends, we may not be able to change our circumstances, but my friends, if we can only walk by faith tonight and not by sight. We will see the hand of God, the hand of God moving and protecting us from harm, protecting us from harm. He has already declared that no weapon, no weapon formed against us shall stand. Hallelujah. And if he is for us, if he is for us, who can be against us? Let's give a hand tonight. Hallelujah. He is for us. No man can be against us in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. My friends and beloved, it has been a joy and great privilege to be here this night uh, to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that these few words uh, and prayers of being a blessing to your heart. Uh, God bless you richly. We heal, we bless, we deliver. We say in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning by the grace of God in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you Jesus.